What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, 40 Days, 40 Nights, 369 in the building, man. I hope you guys are having a blessed day as always. Today, what the topic is, is let it build your character. Let everything in this life build your character. Anything that you're going through, anything that you're struggling with, anything that you're worried with, let it all build your character. It can either build you or it can break you. Now, what I mean is this. Look, if you've dealt with a lot of fornication you've done a lot of adultery you, you've you've stolen you've hit licks basically you've killed people you know putting putting on for the gang or whatever it is you freaking um you're doing all of these sins or whatever and you feel like you can't go back to god you can let it build your character and move away from it you gotta understand the people that got gang tats on their face and they at church and all that stuff are the, some of the strongest people the strongest christians you will ever know because they lived that life of sin. They lived with the devil. Okay. And they came out of it. And dark will always come to light. And they came to light, bro. They came to light. So now, what I'm saying right here is they know all of the tactics of Satan. They know a lot of them. A lot of them that you don't know. Because the devil used them as a freaking pawn. And he tried to use them until they got out of it and they broke free from it. And they realized, boom, okay, this devil, I already know what he gonna do. I already know how he's trying to ruin my life and trying to ruin my family's life. I already know. Because you do. You already know. You know what to do now because guess what? You lived in sin. And I'm not telling you to live in sin. I'm saying if you are or if you already have, you either got a testimony or you're going to have a testimony. Understand that it's all going to build your character. Everything in this life. Don't let anything in the past be a past regret because it's either going to build you or break you. You let it be a regret, it's going to turn to that trauma. And you're too focused on the past to the point to where you cannot leave it. You gotta leave it alone. You gotta let it all go, bro. You gotta let it build your character. Build the person that you are. Because you are a person of light. You are a child of God. And even if you don't claim it, you really are. But the thing is, wake up. Wake up before it's too late. Jesus is coming back. Jesus loves you. Jesus is coming back. He is not gonna forsake you. He is not gonna just leave you to die. He is not just gonna leave you on this planet just to freaking just just to rot okay unless you want to any man that thinks he's gonna go to hell because of god is a liar and doesn't know anything and is a fool because here's the thing you as man take yourself to hell by following the broad road you as man will go to hell on your own accord not on god's accord on your accord because you wanted to live that way you wanted to be your own god Look, let everything build your character. Don't follow the broad road. Stay on the narrow path. You'll be all right. Look, anything in your life that's been traumatizing, let it build you. Because, you know, maybe now you're more patient. You're more vigilant. You're more smart. You're more wise coming out of the situation. Let it all build you. Don't ever let it break you. The moment you let it break you, you're done. Completely. 100% done. So God loves you. He loves you so, so much, and he wants you to let it build your character. It can either build you or break you. You can listen to the, the lies of Satan, or you can listen to the truth of Jesus Christ, and that's just how it is. So let it build your character. Let everything in life that is going on build your character. You, yes, you're the creator of your own reality, but at the same time, come back to reality, bro. Go read the Bible more. On top of that, let the Bible build you and build your character as well. Let it build your character. And you're going to start to notice that a lot of things that happened to you in your past were meant to happen because you are now the better person now. In the name of Jesus, those ones that have been through a lot and have been through sin, just doing it. They are the strongest right now. They're, they're, they're some of the strongest, I'm telling you. The devil used them as a pawn and now God is. Like God is actually using them to do something internal and do something amazing. You know what I mean? So they know the devil's tactics. And that's what makes them strong. But let everything build your character in the name of Jesus. I pray over you. Amen.